Stakeholders in the security and educational sectors have called for peaceful coexistence among all Nigerians, irrespective of their religious, ethnic or political affiliations. The call was made at a program held in Abilkuta, the Ogun State Capital on Saturday by Peace and Social Advancement Center, a non-governmental organization. The stakeholders noted that one of the challenges rocking the nation despite being democratic is the challenges of pluralism, adding that a challenge is dividing Nigerians. Speaking to Plus TV, the commandant at the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC Ogun State Chapter, Commandant David Idowu Jilani, who was a speaker at the event, insisted that Nigerians must work together to ensure that peace reigns in the nation. First and foremost, we all need to recognize the fact that we all have important rules to play as citizens of the country. Uh, just like multi-trial diplomacy, all hands need to be on deck. When everybody plays their parts, they play their role, when we put them together, it becomes the whole. You know, we are all expecting to build a better, fairer, and peaceful society. So when you see ourselves as citizens of the country, wherever we find ourselves in any of the geopolitical zone, let us be identified with the cultural setting of that area. You know, play your important role in that area. Our security agencies, they live in the fact that putting on the uniform does not make you more important than those who are not wearing uniform. We are all privileged to wear uniform. So when we, are, when we wear the uniform, we should expect our responsibility to be to protect that same member of the society because we are mere citizens on uniform. A day is coming when we put off the uniform and become ordinary citizens. So everybody, wherever we find ourselves, as state governors, as president, ministers, commissioners, honorables, senators, our chairman of local government, let's believe that we are all citizens of this country. Yeah, I mean, when we talk about peace, we cannot talk of peace in isolation of uh, fairness and justice. Um, everybody knows what is good, everybody knows what is bad, but when you have a, a group of people coming together uh, to live in peace, when you do, you do a fundamental check on that, you will see that fairness and justice must have reigned in that kind of system for it to engender uh, the kind of peace that you find. Um, in addition to that, um, we, 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 in, in this part of the world, we pay lift service to so many things. We pay lift service to inclusion. We pay lift service to democracy. We pay lift service to um, uh, living in a cordial environment. Cordiality is a product uh, of fairness and justice. Today we interrogate, like I said, interrogate issue around pluralism. We felt our diversity should rather be our sense of unity instead of what we are seeing. So, the center in its own way. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.